This is a video of a 10 pass hyperbaric ozone therapy session. This is Sam. He works here at the pain center and he's very lucky to be able to get treatments every once in a while. We do this quite frequently. This is the setup where the ozone is being mixed with the blood. Becky, turn around and say hi. Hello. This is Becky. She performed the ozone therapy sessions with my supervision. So Sam has an IV in his hand right now. It's a 20 gauge IV that's in his forearm. You need a large IV so you can get good access so that the blood can go from his forearm up this tube into this bottle where it's mixed with ozone. The ozone is generated from this oxygen tank. So you have medical grade oxygen. This is the regulator. And this is the machine here. The ozone Zotsman Ozone N2000 which you have all the features to place flushing, pumping, vacuuming. There's a lot of safety factors which is the caution button the reset button. This is the air block, which is another safety factor, which is very important because when you're doing a blood infusion, you want to make sure you have all the safety factors so that the patient safety is the number one priority. Becky is now mixing, she put some heparin into the bottle, so she's now mixing the heparin with the blood that's now going back from him, Sam right here from his arm, into the IV and pop into the tubing to this bottle right here that's sterile that has the mixture of Sam's blood and in a second you will see how the ozone is mixed because it's pumped through this cylinder right here with this knob that dials in a certain concentration of ozone that you're looking for through this tubing right here, which is called infusion tubing, which goes here and up into the bottle. So you hit in the bottle, you have two tubes. You have an infusion tubing, which is from the machine to give you the ozone, and you have a tube from Sam to go into the bottle to give you the blood. So this is his second pass. So we call it 10 passes because we like to have the blood from Sam go into the tubing and into the bottle. When you mix it with the ozone, you put it back into Sam and that's considered one pass. And we like to do it between eight to 10 times if we can. The limited factor is the blood sometimes getting clotted and that's why we use heparin. But despite using heparin, you can still get blood clotting so Becky right now is filling up with vacuum to get the blood to go into the bottle. And she's going to accent the pump, the squeeze little ball here, because that helps the blood to pump from his arm and into the bottle. And when you get it to build up, you fill it up with about 200 milliliters of blood. So he's almost to the point where it's ready to mix it with ozone. So you can see here, you have 200 milliliters of blood and then you have a space above it, which is where the ozone then goes into. And Becky's about to do it right now. So she gets it, she pumps the ozone and she's swirling it because she would like to make sure that the blood is mixing with the ozone very nicely. And once it's mixed, she's going to fill it up after the ozone goes in with pure oxygen. So you also get an oxygen therapy along with the ozone therapy, all with this treatment called hyperbaric ozone therapy or similar called 10 pass. And it's really called a Lahadni modified technique by Dr. Robert Rowan in California. So now the blood is now going back after being mixed with the ozone. Mix nicely, you hang it back up.
and as you can see, it's not being emptied. It was 200, now it's going down to 100, and it's going back into Sam. And as you can see, the patient is very nicely comfortable, smiling as usual. There you go, there's a smiling Sam. He has the beard because he's going to shave it because he had that beard for March. I think it was something called bearded in March, something of that nature. So he's going to shave it tomorrow. So when you see Sam again in the office, he'll look a little different. So the ozone is going back into him. And Becky is being very attentive to make sure that all the blood does not go in because you want to stop it at this point right here, which you just did. So you don't want it to go all the way through because you're going to now flush it to make sure that it's nice and open, the vein. And now she's going to change that. And she's going to put the heparin syringe. She's going to give the bottle a little bit of heparin. And now that's going to get back in there and mix nicely. As it's going back into the bottle, you put the tourniquet back on. Sam is going to squeeze that ball again. The blood is now going back up into the bottle. And mixing with the heparin for another pass. And that's the idea of the 10 pass technique. The patient is very comfortable, have no effect at all, feel nothing, and is done very safely with numerous safety factors.